Humanitarian aid continues to be in demand with the rising incidence of natural and man-made disasters as well as other challenges. In response, different organizations from across the globe have come together at the Dubai International Humanitarian Aid and Development Conference and Exhibition, also known as DHAD, in an effort to provide adequate assistance to those in need. Khadija Sali has this report. Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint Al Hussein, UN Messenger of Peace and Chairperson of International Humanitarian City, wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, graced the inauguration of the 10th Dihad. In her opening address, she emphasized the inherent generosity and hospitality among Arabs and the event's significance which transcends culture and religion in response to the question, how can we help those in need? Few people realize just how much aid has changed in the last decade. In 2010, the Chinese Development Bank actually lent more than the World Bank. Last month, GCC members announced over $1.5 billion in assistance to Syrian refugees. <coughs> the diversity of donors raises an important issue of international collaboration. How do we function as a team, members and partners? That, in essence, is the question that we are here to address. Sheikh Mohammed founded Dihad in the hope that it would assist this transformation towards a global aid community that is more culturally and politically inclusive, and that encourages dialogue and sharing best practices across the region. Dignitaries, leading international and regional aid agencies were also present, sharing a similar goal of delivering aid effectively where and when it is needed the most. It is a platform for discussion and networking for organizations including Care International and with the UN Food and Agriculture Organization classifying more than 870 million people as hungry worldwide, it is a showcase for important partnerships such as Noor Aukaf. Uh, the food is uh, based on a half a kilo, a quarter of a kilo packs, it's a one, one person, one, one pouch, uh, but that's not it doesn't stop there. The idea of forming this organization, we want to look into things that there was never looked into before. Uh, the byproduct you see behind me and on the floor and the, and the stand, these are all from the animal that's been slaughtered, where the meat goes into rescue, uh, meat and f food. And the byproduct gets sold and the return of that is going to be made more awqaf to support the community. So it's, it's a full circle. And uh, Nur Islamic Bank support is uh, crucial to us because uh, we have, the, of course, the name Awqaf, but they have the, the support, they have the human, uh, human uh, power to support us. On behalf of CARE International, we're really focusing our efforts here uh, to respond to the needs for those affected in Syria. Uh, we know that there's just huge impact in neighboring countries as well as in Syria. Currently, we're working in Jordan to uh, respond to the needs of urban refugees uh, and assisting them in partnership with others. We look at this conference as a great example and opportunity to work with new and diverse stakeholders that are very keen and committed to making a difference in Syria where the needs are so huge these, uh, these days. Entities such as Dubai Cares, which has provided primary education to over 7 million children worldwide, continue to promote their commitment. We're going to be launching, inshallah, in the, in the near future, programs that focus on the early development uh, of kids with, from the three to six years old, as well as launch a few girls' education programs that tackle a lot of the challenges that girls go through every day in order to go to school. Um, also, uh, within our portfolio are a lot of programs that will improve the literacy and numeracy uh, skills of the children um, in the benefited countries. Dihad witnessed powerful partnerships come together and flourish in a decade. This has supported the ongoing call for help from the hungry, the needy, the weak, the sick and the poor. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.